Now, the most frustrating thing when your team loses has to be the way the players play. Are they up for the match? Do they put their heart and soul into it? Is everyone fighting? It didn't happen today. It didn't happen today. There's lots of players who, well, let's just get into it. Hi, and welcome again to Cannon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over the world. Yeah, like I said in my intro, you know, it's the way your team loses. You can lose if you put everything into it. But if you don't, you get your just desserts. They do say, you know, like hindsight is 2020 vision, but there were certain selections there were certain players that I would not have played, but we've lost. And um, in the well, the few days that we saw our rivals, you know, lost momentum, we should have taken advantage of that. Listen, I knew it was going to be a tough match. And even in my um, the video I did with James, I thought it was going to be 1-0 to Arsenal or maybe 2-0. But... Less than 12 minutes, we concede a goal. And I think, is that not the first goal that we've conceded from, from a, a set piece or a corner? I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys will, um, will point out to me there. But it's the way that we lost the game. We were so pedestrian -lies. The only two points where we actually had some kind of threat was when Ramsey came on. And when um, Alex Iwobi came on as well. But apart from that, we were so pedestrian-like pedestrian -like, that, of course, you know, we, we kind of fell into the hands of Everton. And the amount of times that even when they cleared the ball, there was no one in our midfield to collect the ball. And the amount of times that they were pinging balls across field and leaving Monreal isolated against um, Richarlison, it was... For me, it was um, it was unbearable to the point where I thought, yeah, yeah, you know, Arsenal are going to turn it round. They're going to go through up the gears. It never happened. It never happened. So yeah. So, but the, can I say the good thing is, maybe even though we've lost, we are on thirty two games, but we remain in fourth place. In fourth place. Goodness. Lacazette, again, didn't have the greatest of, of matches. You could say the supply line wasn't there. Um, Elneny, I would have to question whether Elneny should have been selected ahead of Ramsey. This, for me, this, this game was perfect for Ramsey. He should have played. But again, it's hindsight, isn't it? You know, I mean, I, I guess if we had got the point... Maybe I wouldn't be saying the things that I'm saying. But, um, yeah, I definitely wouldn't have um, played um, El Nani. Again, he just negates the attack. Uh, Guendouzi, again, didn't have the best um, game. I just felt the match was just passing him by. Um, there the, the weren't too many um, good perform any good performances. You know, Lacazette, um, you know, even um, Kalasinac got found out once too many times. You know, on the left-hand side there, his position wasn't the best. Um, Maitland-Niles, again, a little bit too casual on the ball. Once too many times there. And um, Socrates, my man Socrates, he's going to be uh, missing from the next two uh, games through suspension from the yellow card there. Should I mention Mustafi? Nah, I'm not going to mention Mustafi. You know my thoughts on Mustafi and... Uh, it's just almost every game in this, this season, the mistakes, even the the foul he did on the, 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 the touchline there was absolutely horrendous. And I actually thought it should have been a red card. Yeah, I'm saying, I'm an Arsenal fan, I'm saying it should have been a red card. But yeah, there are not too many players that can come out um, with their heads, you know, um, held high. Um, yeah, just... 
anyhow, you know, if you're watching this um, video and you like what you see, you know, make sure you subscribe and press the notification button to catch up with all the latest news on Canon Photo TV. So we move forward now. This Thursday is going to be the first leg against Napoli. Yes, we're back in the Europa League Cup action. Um, if you saw the video I did uh, out there in the Netherlands uh, with the, the, the irreplaceable James Rowe, it was, it, I really enjoyed it and I'm sure he did as well. And I think um, from what I've seen on social media, it's been, um, it's been welcomed. Um, I think the respect for James Rowe is, has notched up quite a few thousand levels, <laughs> if you can say that. But um, yeah, getting back um, to football. Um, yeah, so Thursday we're going to be back in uh, Europa League Cup action. So make sure um, that you stay tuned. I will try and... Do I need to do a pre-match preview? No, I don't think so. I've covered it maybe once, two, three times already. I might do a post-match um, um, video on Arsenal versus Napoli. Anyhow, you have been watching Canon Fodder. The channel for Arsenal fans all over the world. And um, again, defeated breaking news.